Hey, it's Rob Z for First Frontier Forward. I have Megan Steinbugel with us today with Central PA Face Masks. Megan, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Rob. Yeah, this is so, so cool. So uh, people need to know what you're doing. Now, obviously, you know, the face masks were in low supply there for a while, and it seems like everybody out, is there, out there is, is trying to help the public mm -hmm. by creating more face masks. Right now in Pennsylvania, now we're, we're required to wear face masks out in public. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a lot of people need them. So just tell people exactly what it is that you're doing, where your inspiration came from for it, and how can they help and get a face mask for themselves? Absolutely. So Central PA Face Masks was born out of necessity for all of the people that need the masks, especially these. We started with essential personnel. So we wanted to be able to supply the front lines. So police and firefighters and you know doctors and nurses and all of these different medical personnel with a mask. Um, as you know, everyone's been wearing the surgical masks or things like that, and they're wearing them for a week. So our hope was that by following everyone else and seeing what everyone else had done across the country was creating these covers for over the mask that would prolong the life of the surgical mask. Um, so the covers are cotton and you can wash these very easily and it's breathable. Most of them are two layer. There's all different types of patterns out there. Um, so what we've done is we've created a website, Central PA Face Masks, and a Facebook group so that you can go in and you can see a request, a Google request form. And if your organization or small business needs masks for your employees, you can request through that portal there. Um, from there, our makers, we have sewers all over Blair County, and um, they're, they're working to stockpile and fill the requests as needed. Very cool. You know, and, and the big part of this too is you guys are giving them away, right? Like these yes. are free yeah, face masks. Yeah, free face masks. And it's it's definitely a labor of love. It's been a lot of a lot of stuff to do, but it's it's a requirement. And you know, a lot of people that aren't able to create something at home as a DIY, they need that they need a surgical type of face mask. So you were at, at, in the beginning there, you said about them putting their, these face mask covers over the surgical masks. Is that something you recommend or are these like able to be worn? By no, you can absolutely wear this by itself, you know, by itself. Nice. Um, so most of the masks just go simply over your nose, under your chin and around your ears. Um, and just wearing something like this to the grocery store is perfect. Or if you're yeah. out walking or if you have to go out for any reason, this is great. Um, and this is, this is what the CDC is recommending for just normal civilians right now. And, you know, I think this is, uh, as far as from a fashion standpoint, like I'm out, I'm out yesterday at, at Walmart doing a little grocery shopping and I'm wearing like an, an ugly yellow face mask. And I'm thinking I need something nice, something that, you know, presents who I am as a person for my face Absolutely. mask. It's going to become like a fashion statement. What, what kind of designs do you have? Hold a couple up that you have there. So here's, here's a couple different ones. I really like this one. It's funky and purple and green. Um, I just cut some fabric the other day that is, it's breakfast themed. So pancakes and bacon, or we've had a lot of requests for masks that wouldn't scare children. So we have a lot of different things like dinosaurs cool. or cartoon characters. And it's, you're right. It's definitely very expressive. You can pick something that matches your personality. Yeah, I think that's what we need right now. Because just wearing a face mask does make, you, you feel strong. I feel strange wearing one and it's kind of, it takes emotion away from people's Absolutely. faces. So impersonal. Yeah. And it's, if you smile in a face mask, nobody notices. So then what do you do? do you, and then, then you're strange in a face mask because you're wicky at someone. So yeah. you're right. Yeah, I tried it. I found myself when I was wearing mine yesterday to keep a smile on my face underneath the face mask just to like, let people mm -hmm. know that I wasn't totally miserable. I think, you know. <laughs> and then they <laughs> I mean, still can't tell. <laughs> it's kind of important. You can see the eyes kind of squint. So you know either they're yeah. cringing or they're smiling, one of the two. It's true. Um, but I think this is really important. And also the fact that you're, you're kind of spearheading this yourself right out of your house. Yes. So I'm working with uh, Steve Elfelt and he created the group. And so what I kind of took from the group was originally I said, you know, I'm not the best sewer on the planet right now. My mom is, you know, she's definitely the better sewer out of me or her. So I wanted to create these kits so that women could, you know, women or we have a couple of men could take these kits home and sew their 30 masks, have all of the materials provided for them so that they could either distribute them to their friends and family or that they could help fill the needs that we've requested. So um, each kit has enough in it for 30 masks. So cotton and flannel, they're already ironed, cut, 
um, the elastic would be in here and all of the instructions so that someone can just sit in front of their sewing machine and sew. So what you're saying is you have a bag set up right there that when you, if somebody wants to help, they can mm -hmm. come to, they just come to your house. Is that how that's working? Yeah. Just message us on the central PA face masks. They pick up the, the bag with the kit. They get home, they sew it, they make them, they come back, they drop them off to you. Yep. And, and then, then if people I, need face masks, they can come to you and pick them up. Yes. So we ask that you request through, um, through our, our form, our Google form on central PA face masks. Okay. Reason being is we're receiving so many requests and we're triaging them so that those frontline personnel are receiving their masks obviously faster than just me who goes to the grocery store every two weeks. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's a good way of, of putting it together. I love that. So as far as like donations and that sort of thing, um, I, I know, of course, you're doing this as a labor of love, so there's no money coming in for it. What mm -hmm. kind of donations are you looking for? What, what are you, I guess, what are you asking for? Because you, you'd want some help with this, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. It's been very expensive, especially sourcing the materials. Um, elastic has gone from 25 cents a yard to I'm finding it for $2 a yard now. Oh, wow. That and it's just incredibly difficult to get your hands on good product. Um, as well as all of the fabric and things like laundering and sanitizing. So there has been a lot of cost involved. If you had a project or at some point sewed and you have cotton or flannel material in your closet just taking up space, contact us. I will have someone pick it up. Um, if you just want to throw some cash at the cash at our project, I will happily take your cash. Um, and it just goes straight back into the project. And it's every penny has gone straight back into to helping the community. Very cool. I love this. This is this is a, a great a great move on your part. And really, uh, you know, if you're if you're at home and you need something to do and you love to sew, and my mom's like that. She loves to sew. It's a, one of her mm -hmm. passions. This is a great time. It's a great time passer. You can you can just spend the day sewing, helping people, doing something you love, and then also, of course, if you, if you have a business uh, to get these from you, very beneficial. Now. Uh, they're machine washable, obviously, because they're made of, yes. of regular fabric. Uh, can individuals get them too? Is that a thing? Or are you just mainly focusing yeah. on businesses and organizations? Um, we we try and prioritize the businesses and the people that are going to see the most people out. But we have filled requests for individuals. And a lot of times things like people like or organizations like churches will contact us and say, hey, I need 50 for the people that are doing this, or I have 50 elderly people in my congregation that need masks, and we've been able to fill them that way as well. Very cool. Uh, as far as like agencies or organizations who want to get involved, once again, just so they know how to get a hold of you, how do they find you guys and, and get everything arranged to get them? Absolutely. So on Facebook, we're Central PA Face Masks, um, and my email is Megan Central PA or Central PA Face Masks at gmail.com. So we're definitely okay. accessible and find us that way. And I'll make sure that I put links above this. So if you go up above, all the links will be up there to get in contact with Megan to get the face masks for yourself and for your organization, for your business. Can I get a face mask? Absolutely. Like a one individual. Like the bacon one. Yeah, I definitely want a bacon one. That one's awesome. I love that. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Cool. All right. Thank you. Don't put me at the top of the list. Wait until the people who okay. actually need one get one, then I'll come get mine. <laughs> And, All right. We'll and once, they're, once they've processed the order, like once you've uh, finished it, do you, you contact them and tell them when to come pick it up? Is that how mm -hmm. it all works? Yep. So it's, there's a constant flow of people at my front door. Um, it's people picking up the kits and dropping off finished face masks, people picking up their orders. Um, if someone is far further away and wants someone to coordinate, we have people that are happy to take the face masks to you or to pick up materials or anything like that. So it's been a great network. All of our sewers and our volunteers have been amazing and helpful to just kind of to crowdsource this project. So cool. Thank you for doing all of this. Like this is really great for the community. How, how many face masks do you think you've made so far? Do you have like a number? I know that we've distributed over a thousand. I've wow. had, I just counted, I've had over 600 face masks come through my doors so far. Holy cow. And how long, how long has this been going on for? Two weeks, maybe three weeks. Two weeks. So you're busy. So, yeah, it's definitely yeah. busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. There's All right, always cool. something to do. Right. All right. So if anybody wants to get involved, help out in any way or take advantage and use the face mask, please. Uh, the, the links are above. Megan, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. And Bro. thank you for doing this for the community. Absolutely. Have a great day. You as well.